what's going on youtube so we're back again with another video this is weekly outlook number 18 so we're gonna dive straight into it and this week actually we've only got two immediate setups uh, that we're gonna potentially take on a monday or tuesday depending on when price decides to hit our pending order so first off we're gonna start with euro gbp now if you know the strategy you know we're waiting for an impulse and a correction now with euro gbp it's a bit of a strange one but as you know you want to be reactive to the market rather than uh you know trying to play with the market whilst trying to wait for what you want the market to um you know to give you and it's not always going to work out like that so sometimes you have to adapt and break your rules but break your rules in the sense of you're still following the direction of the market and where market is playing at. Uh, so in other words, you know, you're not 100% breaking your rules. You would probably be breaking it around 50%, right? Or even a bit higher because technically you're still following the directional bias of which, uh, if, of, if, in which the market is actually uh, trending. So in this case, Euro GBP. Now we would have seen an impulse like this, for example, right? Now, given the fact that we have a black candle here, imagine if this black candle was actually a blue candle. This would have been one big impulse going up. In this case, because we have a black candle here, the actual impulse starts from here. Now, the retracement, as you can see, is clearly much larger than the impulse because we start from the impulse from this direction over here. We did have a break of structure. Um, I'll mark this out. So we did have a break of structure from around here. Right. But as you can see, what the price do? price decided to close below uh, that break of structure and come back into this support area over here right so um, with that being said since that has happened and again as I said you want to be reactive right to the market so in terms of EMC it's invalidated right but you can still use the EMC entry model to still get in for an entry as well as your targets now in this case price has basically tapped into this um, daily support area over here because this is a daily swing setup now if I go to the weekly area uh, sorry the weekly time frame as you can see right and I'll mark these zones out as well uh, over here right you can see all of these zones and I'll change the color of it as well here right on a weekly time frame, what do you see? You can see all of this area is literally acting as a support area. You've got one touch over here. You've got several touches over here with huge rejection. You do have price closing below it, but then what the price do? It closed back above it as well, and then acted as a support area as well. Even these areas over here as a recent price action, um, price has literally just rejected that same red zone that I just drew out. So you, what you wanna do is you wanna stack your zones and make sure that they are in order so your high time frame should actually be below your setup time frame your setup time frame in this case will be the daily time frame right so your daily time frame should be above all the other zones so you really and truly what you want to do is you want to have your daily time frame at the top right then you want to have your weekly time frame below the daily and you kind of when and then you want to have your monthly time frame below the weekly that's the way you want to do it right of course you can have your monthly above the weekly but because your setup time frame is still above so your daily time frame because that's still above the weekly and the monthly doesn't really make a difference whether the weekly and the monthly is you know um the other way around you can still get away with it in other words so so that's what's going to happen here right so the weekly we can see is um reacting to that support area so we're still bullish in that sense right even the monthly look if I drag the same zone, I can drag the same zone, right? Or I can draw a new zone, but the same zone that I just marked up um, with the weekly time frame, as you can see, it's the same exact zone, right? As the weekly time frame on a button a monthly. So we know monthly is bullish, weekly is bullish, and the daily, as long as this area holds on the daily, um, where's the daily? Yeah, so as long as this area holds on the daily, we can potentially still aim for buys right so in other words what we're now saying is daily is bullish weekly is bullish monthly is bullish that is our confluences right of course as i said the emc setup has been invalidated due to the fact that um you know we created this impulse and then it, we got um invalidated with this one candle this one black candle this one bearish candle here 
so and then we got another impulse but then the correction was too uh big for the impulse which lied here but we are still holding that support area because remember you're not always going to get a clean setup and then there's other traders in the market trading different entry models and um, setup models and all of this jazz so you just have to be reactive right and still trade and uh, essentially risk what you're willing to risk so for me personally i will still take this setup due to the fact that obviously um you know all my time frames are aligning up to say that this is still a bullish setup all i need to do is adapt to it and still use the en same entry models as i would with the emc but obviously with a different sort of uh setup because again we don't um you know the emc setup has been invalidated due to um the the correction and the impulse uh that we had so in this case what we're simply waiting for is a break of the 61.8 as normal right and we did get that on a four hour time frame which is literally this uh bullish candle over here right so i've got my alert already uh, as of uh, friday so what i'm going to do is delete my alert so i've got that down and now what i'm going to do is put my entry literally at 61.8 uh, from the bottom of this movement over here you can see prices created structure further higher highs and higher lows before price decides to break to 61.8 so that's good so what I, that means now is since they're structured there i can actually put my stop loss a few fits below the 88 and, and what i'm going to do is target the negative 27 which is right there so that's what i'm going to be doing right um, and then obviously we're going to be aiming for a one two three so just about that level there basically and that's what we're looking for for euro gbp right so again take this as you will you don't have to take this on but again i'm showing you that uh you know you want to be reactive to the market of course you can find better setups if you wish if you're not confident in something like this but again you have to be reactive to the market in order to play with the market at the same time you can't always try to take setups that you want the market to give you because nine times out of ten the market doesn't always want to give you what it you know what you want so that's euro gbp as it stands um next pair we would be looking at usd cad uh which is right here now with usd cad right let's get rid of these um trend lines with usd cad any more trend lines i don't think so perfect so with usd cad right uh if you remember from funny enough it's actually still bullish anyways but if you remember from two weeks ago um i think trading week number 16 and 17 so two weeks ago and last week i've been talking about usd cad being bullish the whole time trading week 16 we were waiting for the setup to occur um it did occur we got tagged in and we closed that in profit and then trading week 17 we got in again and it went straight through our stop loss right well actually it didn't go straight through our stop loss well it did as per the setup but for me i got out a little bit earlier because i knew price clearly wanted to keep going further down to about this l area over here and that's what created that projection right so i managed to get out a little earlier so that um, my stop loss didn't get hit now with this one it's still a weekly this one's a weekly setup so it's different to it's different to the euro gbp as it was a daily setup but it's a weekly setup but the entry models are still the same you still wait for the same sort of parameters um you know and your entry and targets and stop loss you still do the same thing um it's just a different setup and obviously you're entering from a different time frame now in this case as you can see we've got this weekly resistance turn to support area which you can see we've got the impulse and the correction we've got two retracement candles which is good and we've got this uh, bullish candle which has a wick to both sides which is a good thing actually because um you know the wick to the downside is actually fairly close to this uh resistance area which this area is now acting as a support area now price doesn't have to touch the box it can come near it maybe a few pips um you know just before and then start reacting from it because again it's an area so again you want to be reactive right um so in this case we you know this is a good setup um and then obviously we've got now if you go to the monthly time frame you can see where we've got our monthly resistance which is literally where our tp is but price right now where we go and take the entry is nowhere near a 
um you know resistance area so that's a good thing so we'll essentially we'll be targeting this resistance area up here and as you can see support wise we're all the way down here this is where price came from and then you also do have another support area which hasn't been marked up but you also have another support area over here as well which is a good thing right so um all in all we are bullish for usd cad um and simply what we're waiting for is that break and retest now the break and retest we're waiting for is literally from this candle here so i've got my alert set as you can see these dotted lines so i'm just waiting for price to close above this area on the daily time frame and then i'll set a pending limit order at the 61.8 right depending if price creates structure so if it creates uh let me show you i'll give you an example so if price creates structure like this for example so this is the daily candle close so if price creates structure coming down and then decides to go back up like this and then finally breaks then perfect because what that means is my stop loss will be exactly as normal just a few fits below the 88 right and we target that um negative 27 to get the one to three if price just breaks through with the next um with a new bullish candle so if it just literally just goes um you know like this then we can still enter but guess what we would have to uh we would have to essentially for our entries our stop loss basically at the last low so basically just there and then we would have to target the negative 27 and we would get just under a one to it's like a one to 2.5 basically or just like a, a one to two um however feel free to adjust your entries so that you can get that one to three so just about there but the likelihood of price coming back down to that area it could happen but again you might miss the setup uh, it just depends on what price wants to do even if price does come here guess what it does line up with some sort of structure area in between this area over here so it could actually do just that but at the same time that's exactly what this is here over here it has actually respected these area well the area between here and the area between here that's what this candle was so it could have already done that the first time so what the next one might do it might actually just tag the 61.8 rather than coming back down to this area here so you've got options in terms of where, where you want to enter the trade totally up to you how you want to do it but we're still bullish on usd cad as well so those are the only two setups that we're looking for for this coming week of course you can you know uh, you've got five trading days in the week um and other setups might occur during the week but as of right now for like immediate setups for monday tuesday right um these are the only two setups that we can see right this moment um so with that being said thanks for tuning in don't forget to like subscribe comment and share um and obviously i will show you the results of the previous video uh sort of the, the results of the pre last week's trades and i'll show you the results of the upcoming week's trades as well thanks for tuning in guys peace